Welcome to the Patterns of 10 strategy, where we learn to multiply by factors of 10 without long multiplication. To begin, you'll need a place value chart. Take a moment to pause and record this chart on your paper. Now that you have your chart recorded, let's begin solving the problem. Look for your equation on the left of the chart. We see that we are multiplying the number 7 by 10. Let's go ahead and write the number 7 in our 1's column. Now, since we are multiplying by 10, we are going to shift the 7 over one column in the place value chart, moving it to the 10's column. In the 1's column, we take the 0 from the 10 that we're multiplying by and place it in the 1's, giving us the answer of 70. Let's look at our next problem. The number that we're multiplying is 9. Go ahead and put 9 in your 1's column. Now, when we multiply by 10, we move over one column in the place value chart, putting the 9 into the 10's column. The 0 from the 10 then moves into the 1's column, giving us the solution of 90. Let's begin with the number 60 on our place value chart. Notice that the 6 is in the 10s and the 0 is in the 1s. Well, now we're going to shift everything over to the left as we multiply by 10. The 6 shifts from the 10s to the 100s, the 0 shifts from the 1s to the 10s, and the additional 0 from the 10 goes into the 1s column. Therefore, 60 times 10 equals 600. Our next problem asks us to multiply 22 times 10. Write 22 into your place value chart, placing a 2 in the 10s and a 2 in the 1s. Now, as we multiply by 10, we shift one place value to the left again, moving the 2 from the 10s to the 100s and the other 2 from the 1s to the 10s. Use the 0 from the 10 that you multiplied with in the 1's column to get your answer of 220. Now let's try multiplying with some bigger numbers. You'll see that the first problem is done for you. 231 times 10 is 2310. Notice how the 0 from the 10 has moved into the 1's column, shifting everything over to the left. Now let's begin the next problem. 2,345 times 10. How many zeros are in 10? One, exactly. Put the zero from the 10 in the ones column and move everything over by one. Your new solution is 23,450. Let's try the final one together. 4,108 times 10. Again, 10 has one zero, so you're going to place that one zero in the ones column and move everything over to the left by one place value. Your new solution is 41,080. 